Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of AppSpot. In this episode we will be looking at compatible applications for the iPhone 5. The first one here is called Flipboard, so let's get right into it. So as you can see Flipboard has got a very unique design. As you can see it is flipping through uh, social media and looking through different pictures. As you can see I've got Twitter loaded up here and as you can see you can flip through all your Twitter uh, news feed and timeline uh, with your Facebook as well and you can just see what people are up to you know instead of using the crappy Twitter application. So you can even view YouTube videos as you can see it'll bring up the sort of YouTube application um, it's sort of something like that I know YouTube it has been taken off on iOS 6 but I think it's just really nice it's sort of been uh, described as a newspaper so I are a magazine sorry and it's it just I love the design it just looks very elegant uh, it, it looks better probably on the white iPhone 5 or the 4s it will work with other applicate or other iPhones uh, but it has been uh, updated for the support of the iPhone 5 so as you can see it's got its built in uh, Safari application or its own internet source instead of uh, opening up the Safari application. So as you can see you can actually search for keywords as you can see I've searched in the App Store and you can search through the App Store's Twitter, I think it is Twitter, uh, and you can just see what the App Store has gotten up to. So as you can see there is more native uh, applications inside Flipboard as you can see it's inside Flipboard and it just gives you main uh, stories that has been very popular during the last week or two weeks so as you can see the iPhone there and uh, spatial as well oh there's my iPhone going down and uh, you can actually uh, view more pics uh, pictures of just what I think it's from Tumblr and uh, just see what people's been up to and I think it's a really nice design and learning it from you know, pictures, learning different uh, thoughts, and just seeing different things. So that's it for Flipboard. Okay, our next one is called Clear. Now, I have to say, my personal opinions on this is absolutely amazing. I love this application. What it does, it allows you to organize your life through Clear and just different notes on how to. Uh, to basically, it is a to do list, but it's very nice and I love the design. So as you can see, you can just create a new uh, folder, as you could say, on different, see I said hello there. You can actually take it out with a different swipe. So as you can see, you can actually change the theme of it. We've got uh, Graphite, Pretty Princess, I love that one, just to be honest with you, I just love that. And you've got Theme Noir, which is actually black in uh, French. So I'm just going to go for the heat one. You can actually do sound effects and remove the status bar. Definitely will remove the status bar if you're on the iPhone 5, just to give you that much more space. So now if we go into uh, our folder here, you can actually tick it if you do a slide to the right. That means you've, you've done it, or a slide to the left means you haven't done it. And that will go down to the bottom in black. So say you have done it, and there's my phone again. Say you have done it in the future, all you need to do is just swipe to delete it, or swipe uh, to the right, and that means you've done it. So this is clear, absolutely brilliant application, and it's recommended. Okay, our last one is called Brushes. Now, this one is for free, and this is probably the best, hands down, the best drawing application for iOS. It's probably going to be more for you arty people and people on the iPad simply because it is a bigger screen. So, as you can see, it is updated for the iPhone 5, and you can actually create custom uh, sizes. So, it's kind of a bit like Photoshop on your iPhone. So, go for the iPhone 5 here in Portrait. So, now if we go down to Settings, can actually fill the layer instead of colouring it all in. Just a bit handy and it will fill the layer in your custom colour. So now if we go down to select our brush, uh, I'll go for this nice one here at the bottom and we'll fill the size up a wee bit and as you can see, and we'll just select, select our colour obviously. So we'll just draw a wee bit. Now that's not coming up too well. The colours don't really work in the colour wheel. That's what my art teacher told me. And uh, now as you can see, if you invert the colours, it changes them. But now if we just put a nice white background, as you can see that looks 10 times better and um, we just draw some wavy lines. So now if we get into a project and we do something a bit more professional, so now if we just draw a line in this uh, wheel, so as you can see I'm just going to do a very nice, uh, you know, just a nice pattern and use different colours. Now I'm using a stylus for this, I don't know if you have one, but I think a stylus might make it a bit better. I actually did review that on my second channel, iTech Daily, the link in the description. So now if I just speed this bit up, you can see uh, what this turns out like. Okay, and I'm pretty much done. As you can see, it's not that good, but uh, you know, it's it's okay. 
So now as you can see that is pretty professional looking if you say so myself. Uh, now if we actually click on it you can actually view a spaded up version of you drawing which is pretty nice. As you can see it's going pretty quickly and it, you know, it is a pretty nice design. So, so as you can see all these applications are based around you and your life. If you like this video make sure to like it. Drop me a comment down below if there's any applications you like and you want to be covered in next week's episode. And if you want to subscribe, you're more than welcome. This was Daniel with AppSpot.